I'd like to talk about um, magnification and how, how it works. Uh, firstly, if you feel that you need a magnifier to, to help you to read, then I strongly uh, recommend that you do not buy a magnifier from a catalogue or anything like that because you need to make sure that you are properly assessed to make sure that the magnifier is the correct one for your needs and that is something that we can help with however if you are feeling that you need a, a magnifier to, to help you to read firstly I, I suggest that you just think about where you are when you want to read when you are at home. I come across many people uh, that at this sort of time it's not necessarily a magnifier that they need to help them. It is a good lamp, a daylight light a lamp. And that is often more successful than using a magnifier. But a magnifier, um, the ones that I use tend to start magnification at uh, three times. They magnify what the print is three times. And the strongest I have is 14 times. And so if you are needing something that is less than three times, you can probably buy a magnifier that is off the shelf. You can just go in a shop and buy it. And I recommend that if you do, and that is strong enough for you, that you um, that you get one that is illuminated, has its own light. Um, and contrary to what a lot of people think uh, as well, uh, people have reading glasses and they're trying to read obviously and they think well these aren't any good because I can't read with them but uh, reading glasses they actually still do what they're supposed to do because they are correcting what's going on with the front of your eye and if you have an eye condition that's affecting the back of the eye this is where you would need extra help from but the reading glasses still do what they're supposed to do and really when they make uh, magnifiers they design them to be used in conjunction with reading glasses so you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money on reading glasses very often you can go and get the um, the ready readers for a pound in some, some places um, you don't need to spend a lot of money and I do recommend reading glasses as opposed to um, bifocals or very focals because if you're needing to use a magnifier and you're only looking through a small segment at the bottom of your spectacles and then through a magnifier it's not going to work as well as if you're looking through the middle of your reading glasses. So magnifiers themselves, a lot of people sort of, what they do is they're given a magnifier, they put a magnifier down towards the page, try and get it in focus, and then they're moving it along the page like this. And wonder why it doesn't work very well. Because what's actually happening is, is one thing, when you move the magnifier, your eye is chasing it and it's hard to keep up, to keep things in focus. And if you have something wrong with your central vision, such as mac uh, macular degeneration, what's happening is you move your magnifier, you're moving your eye as well, 
and you've got part of your eye that's working, part that's not, part that is, and as you go along, it's not, it's not working very well. Um, and also, when it's down there, it's a very, very long way away from your eye. Because the way to use a magnifier, really, you know, any lens we use, Okay, if you think um, spectacles, if you think telescope, binoculars, a microscope even, all of those things, if we use them, they're up by our eye. So why should a magnifying glass be any different? So when we want to use a magnifier, what we do, we normally, most of us have one eye which is stronger than the other. So what we do, we bring our magnifier up to our eye with our uh, reading glasses on. And then what we do is bring the text up towards it till it comes into focus. And then you keep the magnifier still. You keep your eyes still and you actually move what you read. When you get to an end of a line, you come back along the same line you just read and then come down to the next one. That helps you to keep your place. You will find with a magnifier, you see so much more when it's up close to you like that. So much more. And you can keep things in focus better. And that's why as well, if you have one that's illuminated, it is better to, because Otherwise, getting light in there is quite difficult. So, if you have a strong magnifier then, where it's, it's smaller, because this is what happens. The stronger a magnifier is, the smaller the size of it. So, if you're using it in the way we said not to, then here, a very small magnifier, you're still going to give up. But if it's up near your eye, you don't necessarily notice the size of the magnifier. All you'll notice it is what you actually see. And uh, so it does take a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it works very successfully. Because, you know, with the size of magnifiers, if you, if you consider that... Uh, to make something magnify, what we're actually doing, we're bending light, okay? And to actually do that, we're using the curve on a piece of glass or perspex, okay? And if that is over a wide area, you can only get a very shallow curve on there, so it's hardly bending the light at all. So big magnifier is very weak. If you bring that in, and so we've got a sharper curve, so we can magnify much more, we can bend the light more. That's why that is, it's just the physics of it all. So making something big, which a lot of people do ask for, we're going against science, okay? Just, we just cannot make magnifiers like that. So you can get handheld magnifiers, okay, uh, which, you know, using the way I can, said, will work pretty well for a lot of people. Um, but uh, you can also get stand magnifiers. Now, I haven't actually got any hand magnifiers with me, but I've got a stand one here. This is an illuminated stand magnifier, and it looks a bit of a monster but with this it's designed so it actually is in contact with the page all the time so that eliminates the need for sort of how far away from the page it has to be to be in focus because it's a fixed focal length if you like so to use this again what you do you bring it up towards your eye and what you do is slide the text underneath it, try and 
to keep the magnifier still. Okay, what you can actually do with this, you can actually anchor your elbow onto the arm of the chair to keep, help keep it still. And what this can help with, besides keeping it in focus a bit better for some people, is if someone has a little bit of a, a shakiness in their hand at, at all, it can try and help with that and keep things a bit more steady. So that works very well. For some people, these sort of type of magnifiers um, work extremely well. And for some people, they actually work better than an electronic magnifier. So it is well worth getting assessed. And uh, when not under lockdown or anything like that, that is something I can help with. I can come and see people in their own homes and um, carry out a full assessment. So we make sure we get the right magnifier, the right design of magnifier, the right strength of magnifier, and you know how to use it. Since lockdown began, we have adapted many of our services so we can continue to be there when it matters for anyone living with a visual impairment or experiencing low vision. You can contact us on 02380 641 244. That's 02380 641 244. Or email info at opensight.org.uk or visit our website opensight.org.uk